Hi class, in this video I'm going to go over how to use StatCrunch to compute z-scores. This is problem 10 from the 3.4 homework assignment for us. And I'm going to open up the data table and I'm going to import that into StatCrunch. I'm sorry, to compute the z-score we need to compute the mean and standard deviation for this set of data. And that can be done by pressing stat summary stats columns selecting the mean and standard deviation oh, here we're supposed to treat this as a population so instead of standard deviation I need unadjusted standard deviation so I'm going to compute mean and population standard deviation and I'm going to select the column containing the data compute and we have a mean of 72.4 with a standard deviation of 7.44 remember those two values now we can compute the z-score for each pulse by clicking on data compute expression click on build and this is where we can basically type a formula inside of parentheses we're going to put the pulse add that then click on minus our mean which was 72.4 now I'm going to click the right arrow to move next to that slash for division and our standard deviation which was 7.44 click OK and then click compute and notice here are the z-scores and we want to round these to two, uh, two decimal places right it says round to the nearest hundredth so I can type them in as shown student 1.62 student 2 was negative 1.53 student 3 was negative 1.67 student 4 was 1.02 student 5 0 0.08 whoops student 5 0 0.08 student 6 1.02 the same for student 7 sorry about that 1.02 student 8 is negative 0.59 and student 9 is 0 0.08 check the answer and there are the z-scores. So that's how you can compute them all in one shot. Now the rest of this problem asks about the mean and standard deviation of the z-scores. So let's return to StatCrunch and I can now find the mean and standard deviation. Let's start with, uh, let's see, stat, summary stats, columns. I'm going to select my new column, pulse minus 72.4 and I'm going to select mean and again unadjusted standard deviation click compute and I can see my mean which I'm supposed to round to the nearest tenth is point zero point zero the standard deviation is one point zero let's enter those in zero point zero for the mean and 1.0 for the standard deviation. Okay, a couple of quick points about that. The mean of all of those z-scores should be zero. That's just more evidence that the mean truly is in the center of the set of data. And we'll learn later that the standard deviation for the z-distribution is always going to be 1.0, where z is a measure of standard deviations from the mean.